It's Tuesday morning, it's the middle of winter, and it's pouring rain. But we're alive. You can see, week to week, what nutrition does for people. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for meals on wheels. It changes their attitude, they become nicer because they feel better. In my mind, I'm not an old man. They're more likely to try to get out of bed, try to improve. When people are isolated and they don't have nutrition, that is a very bad combo. Now, you have to sign in. You're not going to sell this on the secondary market, are you? This is affiliation talent. So here we are on the line, putting the meals together to get delivered today. This is not a traditional tray line. This is not a cafeteria. Each meal kind of made special. For medical protocol and for likes and dislikes as much as possible. I like how everybody is uh, working together. We work as a team. So here we have some gorgeous turkey breast that has a beautiful sauce on it. And a lot of the herbs that we use to make that sauce are grown right out here in our little organic garden. Hi, Walter. Stand right here. Are we going to be in the way? Are we OK? We're OK. You won't throw us in a pot, Walter? So that turkey, when you get it, is going to be fabulous. I love that everybody gets all this stuff. I know it. All the vegetables in there were prepped fresh here. Start here in the kitchen at 5. I wake up at 3 in the morning, Monday through Friday. Wow. Yeah, but I, I enjoy what I do, you know, me and my staff. We use very few pre-prepared foods because of the sodium content. Well, you can add salt, but you can't take you can't it out. Take it out. We prepare everything fresh that is, we even make our own soup. But is there any government money going into the trade? No government money going into our trade. Private donations primarily, then foundations, some corporate. We're the largest privately funded Meals on Wheels program in the country. What made you volunteer here? Actually, uh, we saw notice in our church bulletin that they needed volunteers, and my sister and I were not working at the time, so we needed something to do, and I thought it was a good cause. Right. It's better than you running the streets of Los Angeles. All these scientists are saying, hey, I nutrition see a nun. makes you feel better. Yeah, Is that there was a nun. There's a nun. Now you should go on a route, and then you can understand what it's all about. Hi, Mr. Boswell. Thank you for having me. May I come in? Yes, certainly. <laughs> Thank you. This is my granddaughter that's the All-American. They come uh, six days a week. My wife uh, needed Meals on Wheels 25 years ago. And I had a heart attack just before she died. And they asked if I wanted to continue with the food. And of course, I was delighted because that meant that I would have balanced meals. And I've been here since 1981, working in the aerospace business. Of course, I've been retired for a long time now. I've had a, a lot of heart problems. Been hospitalized 25 times since I started. I have to have a low-fat diet, and they managed to do that. These are pineapple chunks? Pineapple chunks. You're the pineapple man. Yeah. Okay. And I admire the operation. The fact that the director of Meals on Wheels is in her 80s. So I did some quick math. You started the program when you were 41 years old, and you're coming on your 40th anniversary, so that makes you around 80. That's right, about 81. I'll be oh. 81 in June. Oh, don't round up. You're 80. I'm 80. Yeah. This woman must be a saint. Yeah. She's a nun. She hasn't made sainthood yet. What, what is on your head? It's a coif. It's called a coif. Coif. And we used to wear the big white bonnets. Like Sister Patrol? That's right. Well, Shop. this way you don't have to decide what That's to wear. Right. That's right. I never have a bad hair day. St. Vincent actually has about 1,500 clients. Okay. And then we sell meals to different programs. And then we also help a little school down in Skid Row. Tell us, Don, what you're doing here. Well, I'm going to pack some milk that go downtown to the school. Here you are. You're working. You're active. Uh, how old are you? I am 90. Well, that's a good start. I'm up every morning at 4.30 on the bus at 7, 6 o'clock, and I'm here by time for 7. Well, I started this branch. The real Meals on Wheels began after the Second World War in England, and the nurses would put food in the backs of their cars and put hot bricks to keep it hot. And they didn't have kitchens because they were bombed nothing, out. Nothing, yes. I used to go, I'm a dietitian and I worked at the hospital. So I'd go out and visit patients that had gone home on special diets. And so I was used to being in a hospital environment where it is very controlled. And I'm very controlling and I want to do it my way. So I just walked in like I owned the place, took the food and went and visited. 
I wanted my own kitchen so I could do it the right way. And we had tablecloths, we had flowers, and we would serve them at the table. They didn't have to stand in line. And so that started on 7-7-77. We never planned it, it just happened. One day, sister said to me, after I volunteered for a year, she said, you want a job? And I said, okay. So I've been here ever since. All right, so be careful about being around sister. You'll, you'll get busy. Yeah. As one of my superiors said, now you're gonna run the kitchen in this hospital. It was in New Orleans, Hotel Du Hospital. I said, I can't do that, I'm only 25. She said, listen, go in there, tell them who you are, and tell them you're in charge. And so I've kept that phrase forever, and I use it. Just assert it, and it's true. <laughs> it's true. We're in the inner sanctum of Meals on Wheels. Tell us about this wall. We have all these great people we serve, and we have so many great stories. A man here who was a member of the Tuskegee Air Force, but still ran his travel agency, lived in the back, could not leave the building. So many stories. And that's a qualifier, being homebound. You have to be homebound. The couple in their 90s who needed our client advocate to get them marriage counseling. After 65 years, they hadn't quite gotten it right. Or the lady who said, no one has wished me happy Mother's Day in 20 years. This is my friend Isa. He lives in uh, Echo Park. This guy right here I know. I know him from the LA Athletic Club in downtown, although I haven't seen him because he's at home now. Did you know that he walked across the United States of America barefoot? And he has the original newspaper clippings. Yeah. He's great. I keep active and, and interested in everything. Well, I walk around the block every day from one to three times. I have to use a walker. I have a couple of thousand books, and now I have to use a magnifying glass sometimes. I noticed uh, on your coffee table here a, a big banner. It looks some, like some kind of genealogy. It's been a lifelong uh, passion of mine since I was 18 years old. I've helped more than 400 people, all of whom have uh, made major inroads because I'm really good at this. There's no bastion in this book, no royalty. There's a client with a puppy dog uh, with them. How do you help people that that have pets, I guess kitties or, or doggies or maybe even a, you know, a, bird. Snake, a snake or bird? <laughs> That's a lot of cat food. So we have a, a really active pet food program. So we do occasionally run fundraisers specifically to take care of the pet. We don't, if somebody sends a donation, we don't divert it into pet food. It has to be specified. We're happy if the client's happy. We have a lot of clients who are in their 40, 50 age range. We even had an 11 year old client who was waiting for a kidney transplant. Right. And we were able to serve that child because she was homebound. Where did that accent begin? I grew, a very slight one. Uh, I grew up in uh, Greasy Corner, Arkansas. Oh. Is that the name of it? Yes. Greasy Corner? I can make that up. You think <laughs> I can make that up? It's Greasy Corner? Greasy Corner is Arkansas. an Arkansas. It's a village? It's Local a town? corner. Can't you tell? Greasy Corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Beautiful Carla Limley. Carla, like so many of our clients, never gave up. She just kept on keeping on. That's Limley like Limley Theater, yeah. right? And with the nutritional support, she was able to live to almost 105, and she was very vital at 104 and three quarters. We want them to see us as their family, just as we see them as our family. But your clients, uh, s some may be Catholic, some oh. may be of people of no faith at all, but everybody is That's being right. served we don't if they have a ask. need. Yes, we don't even ask what their religion is. Josie, who do these go to, these, uh, these pretty gifts? These gifts, these are given to the clients. For their birthday? For their birthday, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you do these? Did yes. you make these up? Uh -huh. Wow, it's cute. Went to church one Sunday, and someone was announcing that St. Vincent Mills on Wheels needed volunteers. Carol interviewed me. Carol's the uh, volunteer coordinator. Yes. Our need is for volunteers. We need runners and drivers. And the time frame is 10 to 2. Call this number and ask for Carol. Yes. She liked me. And Who wouldn't like you? <laughs> Sister liked the way I work and she told me she wanted to put me on a full-time basis. I called on the phone, got a hold of Carol, and she said to come the next day, and we did. They put us on 
green t-shirts right away and we put us the on the route. We're on the street <laughs> delivering meals. And now, you're, now you get paid. See, yes. you started as a volunteer, and it, that seems to be a trend around here, by the way. You start as a volunteer, and then eventually they hire you if you do a good job. I love it. Lots of food. Ooh, lots of steam. This might be a fun thing for friends to do so they could spend time together and do good work, too. Hello. One of the benefits of volunteering here is you get a free lunch. Absolutely. And Sister says she prays for all the volunteers to go to heaven. That's a pretty big deal, too. <laughs> Two for one. Would you encourage other people to volunteer? I would. It puts a good feeling in your heart. Well, carry on. Should people be retiring at 65? What do you think, Don? I think they should keep going as long as they feel up to it. People, the volunteers, are wonderful. They're the best. I've done 13 marathons. And I've done most of them, all of them, after I was 65. That's fantastic. Dawn is 90, sister's 80, going on 81, so age is not a factor. If you have time on your hands and you're sitting looking at this, come downtown now and volunteer at St. Vincent Meals on Wheels. Here's the link. That's it. You know, my mother told me when I was young that I could always be as happy as I wanted to be. So I refused to be depressed. Man, that's impossible. I just I have too many things going. Good nutrition and a friendly smile go a long way towards improving someone's quality of life. My mother lived to be 100, maybe I will. Do you ever see yourself retiring? No, I don't. I, I want to you know, die in my shoes, walking and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I hope I can, well, so I'm trying. You'll be of service and never get bored. I hope not. I'm never bored. <laughs>、got a big donate button, and we would love any help. Every single dollar makes a difference, and we can use all the help we can get. We really appreciate it. I'm coming out of the refrigerator. You, you didn't mind us just yakking outside your door all morning and like taking away from your concentration, did you? Oh, good. <laughs> non complainer. <laughs> Tell us about your career at TRW. I think you mentioned you worked on some, some of the first satellite、uh, programs. In the last 12 years, I worked on top secret stuff. Right. And if you tell me, I'll still have to kill me, I think. Yeah. National Meals on Wheels was meeting in Minnesota then. I was the president at the time, so they asked me to throw out the pitch. And I was so nervous, so I was waiting for this guy to say, now. And then when he did, I was so nervous, I, I just about got it across, but I didn't, I didn't do a very good pitch. It's okay. But they said it was okay. It was okay. <laughs>、yeah.